Hello guys, so today I'm going to explain how can we solve this problem uh, vacation. This is another third problem from uh, Edcoders DP editor real contest and those of you who do not know, I am trying to make a video series on all the dynamic programming based problem from uh, this edu educational uh, DP contest. Uh, sorry, I init uh, earlier I said editorial DP contest, but it's basically educational dp contest and i have already made two videos for the first two problems so those two are for the uh this uh, frog one and frog two uh, if you haven't watched them i'll recommend to uh, go through them and uh, yeah so let's try to read this problem statement and yeah but before going ahead uh, i would like to make one more um, uh, I'd like to uh, make one more statement here that I am uh, trying to solve all of these problems uh, in the recursive manner and uh, I'll only move to iterative if uh, recursive is a bit too complex in in case uh, I mean rather than the uh, iterative one then only I'll choose to go to the iterative approach otherwise I'll always try to solve this uh, recursive approach like the bottom-up approach and then yeah uh, let's try to then read this statement if you if, if you guys try to uh, solve I'll always recommend that try to stick to one particular approach then like uh, don't always switch to either iterative or uh, uh, recursive it's good to know both of them but to get the habit uh, to be able to quickly solve one problem when you are participating in a particular program or particular competition it's good to be proficient in one of the approach and uh, Eric Toh has already solved most of the, the I mean all of these problems uh, from this context uh, in iterative manner so if you guys want to wa want to watch his videos i would definitely recommend watching that here i'm always solving the these problems in recursive manner so yeah now let's uh, talk uh, talk about the problem statement so we are given certain number of days and the person has an option of choosing one of these three activities on each day so he can either go for swimming or can catch bugs in the mountain or do homework so by doing all of them, he can respectively gain AI, BI or CI point on a particular day I. But there is one catch uh, th and the catch is that he cannot do the same activities for two or more consecutive days. So for example, if he has chosen to swim today, he will not do it this activity on the day after this. I mean. On the day and onwards so if he uh, if he chooses b he'll have option of choosing a or c on the next day onwards so yeah he can he can choose b again on the day after tomorrow so if on the day two he has chosen option c he will be only able to choose c again on day uh, on day four day four onwards yeah so if this condition was not there what we could have done is we could have tried to simply choose one of the maximum of all of them like uh, on each day i'll always greedily choose one of these values whichever gives me the maximum point otherwise uh, i can yeah to get the best answer but here the catch is that we cannot choose two uh, I mean, we cannot choose the same activity for two more two or more days so let's try to solve this and uh, see how can we build our our function or the recurrence relation so to build the recurrence relation we need to think about the initial state and we need to think about the final state we need to think about the transitions that means the intermediate state so in the beginning what we have we have a, a number of ids or let's say uh, we have i and uh, what this i will be is equals to in fact uh, we are on the zeroth day uh, I am talking in terms of zero based indexing and also we also what else we need we need to know what particular activity was chosen on the day before so here we have that as we can observe that we cannot choose one activity which was chosen before uh, on the day before so if we are at certain certain day 
we don't want to include uh, we don't want to consider the activity which was chosen day before so we can simply uh, keep one more identifier which will let's call it pre previous day what our activity was chosen uh, let's let's just simply call it p and then from here we can uh, on this day we can make certain decision so this decision will be based on this particular p that what was p if p was let's say for example one then we have an option of uh, choosing uh, either of two or three if we call our activity is one and activity two and activity three right and if we choose if this p was two let's say if this p was two then we have an option of choosing uh, p1 or p3 but if this was let's say for example three if this p was three uh, in that case uh, we would choose only we have an option of choosing either one or two on this particular day what do i say what do i mean when i say we have an option of choosing either of them so as you can see that we have already chosen one so we cannot choose one again on this particular day we can choose only uh, one of them and what happens when i try to find this answer from let's say i chosen two p2 and i get certain answer let's call it a1 and sorry let's call it a2 instead and once we choose three we'll try to find the answer from here and we find out that the answer is a3 then we'll try to compare what's the maximum result that we got from both of them and then we'll add the this answer with the current gain that we can gain by choosing option p1 or option p2 or option p3 so once we choose uh, once we chose option p2 we will add this value of uh, choosing the gain that we can gain from here p2 and then the gain that we can gain from p3 will be added here so this is what we are going to do uh, so rem uh, remember that this p2 and p3 are telling us that uh, this will be the previous state for the next next one let's say for now if we had zero and uh, for example one that means previous task was chosen let me just use in instead a different day so that can be very generic so if we had chosen one previously and we are currently on day two then what we can do here is we can try to go to two different paths that means on day three we can go with um, either by choosing two at this particular moment or by choosing three at this particular moment so yeah and once we choose we need to add the answer for a2 and we will we'll, here we'll choose the answer for a3 and we will compare the maximum of both of them this will give us the best result so now let's try to uh, see how we can code this one uh, so let's see how we can code this uh, so here I have already declared all the inputs that we need that is and the number of days and the a B and C array also I have uh, taken input and also I have taken the input for the size and the elements of the arrays I declared an answer will print it and we'll see how we can call this one so as we discussed uh, let's try to build this recur recursion function first where we'll find out the answer so if we reach in the end that means on the base case uh, if it is the end of the day that means there are no more profit that i can gain i will simply return zero otherwise i'll try to build an answer uh, answer equals to initially let's call it into minimum and now depending on what the previous day is uh, we'll have options of choosing different possibilities so one thing to notice here is that on the day zero we have an option of choosing all of them and there were no day before day zero that means day one so from our main function we are going to tell our solve function that hey there was no day so what i'm saying is uh, for for activity one i am calling it zero for activity a i will say it is termed as zero identifier for activity b it will be one that means if there uh, on the previous day we have chosen a we will mark it as zero and if we have chosen b we'll mark it at b and if we have chosen c will mark it as two otherwise we can uh, simply let's say three 
if if three is there, then we'll have we'll have we'll consider that none of the elements were chosen previously, and so we'll have an option of choosing all of them. So let's say for now we'll say if previously on the previous day we had chosen option A, then here we have an option of choosing the maximum of output that we can get from by adding the option B. That means B of I and add it to the solution that we have uh, let's say ids plus one and now the previous will be changed to this b and for b we said that we'll have identifier marked as one and the other option that we have here are uh, is uh, the option of choosing c and then we'll mark c as the previous state for the next one next day all right in the similar manner we can uh, we can uh, uh, let me just write it like this uh, choose for uh, one and for two as well but once we choose once we say that the previous day was one then we have an option of choosing a and c only because as you can see uh, now a is already chosen so we can choose a or c and then uh, similarly we'll update it here that a for a we have 0 and for c we have 2 and if the previous was 2 then we have an option of choosing b or a so if a was chosen i'll solve for 0 and for the last case when none of them were uh, there like if none of these value were there like 0 1 2 then as we are passing 3 for the beginning state we have option of choosing all of them so let me just copy from these places and there is one more which is missing let's copy it from here and that's it i think this would give us the answer so let's try to run this code without first up uh, memoizing and let's see if it works Alright, so let's see by choosing copy one and let's see if it runs. Okay, it gave 200, which is correct. Let's choose another option, it gives 100, it seems correct. Let's try for this one, maybe it should work. Yeah, it did work and it seems to be correct, but for the bigger input, it will definitely fail because we are trying all the possibilities here so we'll need to memoize our dp uh, our solve function and what we need we have option of uh, i mean we have this array and uh, this element which can go up to 10 raised to the power 5 uh, actually let me just quickly see yep and we have option of having four different variables for prev and uh, we also need to initialize all of them with uh, minus one or something which can tell us that we haven't we have seen or not this particular state so once we uh, once we do that we can before going to calculate answer for any particular state we can just check into our dp table that if we have seen it already then just calculate and uh, just return the calculator re calculated result and memoize it otherwise if you haven't seen it let's try to see for this particular answer only yeah it seems to be working although it turned out that uh, took more time than the yeah now it works yeah for the last one and uh, then we'll try to submit it all right, so it works and let's just quickly copy paste it here uh, it might complain about certain things so I will just simply have a bit slash SGDC++ header file included as well so yeah it's running let's see what's the result is okay it gives wrong answer for some case try to debug it Alright, so I tried to debug it and I could see that uh, the problem was that when I had this uh, uncommented like this, 
this directive and some for some reason at coder is uh, also expecting uh, I mean it shouldn't be run on there that platform I'll try to find what's the, the wrong here so I just commented it out and it did work I'll share it. yeah uh, as you can see here it did out did work out and yeah I think I'll, sh I'll upload this uh, code as well in the description so if you guys need any help further so you can just look at this code and uh, it's exactly the same what we discussed so so yeah thanks for watching this video guys again and uh, yeah I hope uh, I was able to explain it to you guys thanks